okay YouTube so I decided I am going to make a pie and it's not any sort of recipe that I really have or anything I'm just kind of going by what I want to do my plan is to make a berry and cream pie and you'll see what I mean here in just a second but we're gonna start off I ended up just getting like some already made stuff and then I've got like you know the already made blueberry filling and I'm gonna be making like a cheesecake thing and throwing it in there just to see you know what it what it's gonna taste like if this comes out good then I will teach y'all how to actually make pie filling later and how to make pie crust because all of this stuff is you know easy to home make there's no reason to have to buy it in a can and it tastes a lot better if you don't buy it in a can or a box but because it's my first time trying I didn't want to put all that effort into a pie I didn't know it was good so we're going to start with this little crust and I've never done any of those pretty like designs on pies so I think that's what I want to do today I think I want to try to do like the little woven thing maybe. See if it comes out any good. We're going to start with putting this bottom down. Just so you guys can see how to put the bottom down. So, huh. Which too, I mean, I think cutting them is going to be a method all on its own because it kind of feels like the consistency of Play-Doh. Like you see that? Don't they kind of look like Play-Doh? Just a little bit. You can see through it on mine. It's a little crazy. Oh, and it's already got a fucking break in it, right? Oh, well. Maybe this one will be the top. Let's see if we can get the other one out of the easy. These nails don't help you do anything, really. But very hard to navigate with. I thought I'd do this other one. I just need some scissors to get on you. Oh, okay. Not that hard. Dang. I am just fucking helpless today. Ignore me. Okay. So, we've got our little pie crust mashed down. It's not the best job, but hey, like I said, this is more to try the taste of it than for looks. The top is probably going to be prettier, hopefully. Let's lay her top on this box just to keep from having to get us a plate or anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so you can see a little better now. I am very short. I don't know if anybody knows this. Somebody asked me the other day how tall I was. And I told them I would answer on YouTube. So here I am. I am 4'11". Actually 4'10". I just realized that. I'm not even 4'11". I don't know if I shrunk or something. But I ended up having my height taken the other day. And it shocked me because I've always thought I was 4'11". And I didn't even but barely come up to the 10. So. Alright. Now that we got our inside laid here. Got our little pie shell. Now that we have that done, we are going to, I hate how hot this stove gets. Anyway, we're going to open up our cream cheese. Oh, I need some vanilla extract. Never forget your vanilla extract. I use it in literally everything. If it's chocolate, vanilla is going in it for me. It's just the way it is. And yes, I scratched my face. This is my food. I know I don't have COVID. If I'm making a pie for you, I promise I won't touch my face. I'll probably have gloves on. And yes, we keep gloves like crazy here because I dye my hair all the fucking time. It looks like it's about ready for a new job because it was red and now it's faded to pink. Don't you just hate that? Don't you wish, like, the color would stay forever? In a way, I don't, but I do get tired of dyeing it the same color. But then I know I get tired of these colors a lot. Y'all will probably see me in purple once I get my finances back in order. Right now, I'm just using dyes that people have given to me or that I've traded for. But really, I would very much like to go purple. We have homemade soaps that are very nice. They're not ours. JD's mom's make them, or JD's mom makes them. I don't know how I fucked that up so bad. But JD's mom makes them, and they smell so good, and they just get everything very clean. And I still have. Oh well, I mean, I'm opening another pack of cream cheese. I don't know why I did this. I have an electric mixer, and I'm not quite sure where my mixer is, but I'm not going to make you guys listen to it mix anyway. Just keep in mind that this is the recipe that I'm going with, whether it's good or bad. I'm going to be posting it. And I want you guys to join in the weird parts of my life. I'm rather lonely a lot. And no, that doesn't mean I want you in my dams or to try to move here and marry me. That does not mean that at all. It means I would like for you 
to interact in the things that I do. <laughs> so, to interact in the things that I do, and show me that you enjoy it. I am only lonely. Whoa. Oops. And then I kicked the camera. No wonder I'm lonely. I am only lonely because I enjoy a lot of really strange things. I really like to cook, and I like to do magic, and I like to paint. Um, what else do I like to do? I like to make things. I like to woodwork. I like to just... I don't want to do things that people my age usually aren't very into. I like to make YouTube videos. And where I live, there's literally no one who wants to do this with me. No one. I swear. So I've got our two packets of cream cheese, as you can see. Now we're going to add some sugar. We probably don't need as much sugar as I'm going to add. But, you know, whatever. We like to live dangerously on this channel. So we've got our sugar. Now we're going to stick in two eggs here and some vanilla extract. Cheesecake is basically what we're making. And we're just going to throw it in this fucking pie. And yes, it is blueberry, so it's going to be blueberry and cream. I don't know if anybody else is as big a fan of blueberries as I am, but God, I love me some motherfucking blueberries. I am all about blueberries. My first year ever going to prom when I was a kid, the boyfriend that I had at the time, I really loved pizzas and I really loved uh, muffins. I just fucking love blueberry muffin, man. And I believe I was vegan at the time, too. Um, no, I was just vegetarian at this point. Yeah, because we actually ate cheese on the pizza. Um, he ended up making me a cheese pizza and blueberry muffins for a prom dinner instead of us going anywhere. And I was just as happy with that. Big fan of blueberry muffins. Okay, so I'm going to pause this, and then I'm going to mix that up. And as soon as I have this weird mixture here mixed up, then I will show you all what it looks like, and then we'll go ahead and put the blueberry in the pie. Just a quick disclaimer, I forgot to put the vanilla extract in on video, but I've got it in there now. This is what it should look like at first. You're going to want to beat it on like a low speed because you don't want too much air getting into the mix for it to be like a creamy cheesecake thing. If you want it to be aired and whippy then I guess turn it up on high. But there it is. So somehow I have screwed this up. I think I'm going to do it again and omit the eggs. I'll end up using this for something but definitely not for this pie. It's not the consistency that I wanted. And I swear I'll end up finding something to use that cream cheese in. I'll post on Facebook about it. That's probably why I have so many followers on Facebook because it's the only place that I post a lot, like, I fucking hate it. But I only post there a lot, like, because that's where I have the most followers, the most friends, the most... And right now I've got people messaging me knowing, well, I guess they don't know because they don't read anything about me. Because that's how Facebook is, nobody. <laughs> nobody reads anything about anybody. Everybody thinks it's a dating site. But anyway, I got men right now messaging me talking about me moving. And it's like, dude, I don't even have a car right now. Do you really think that that's even halfway a possibility? It, it, it's not going to happen. Unless for some reason I was to blow up on social media maybe one day. And I could get the hell out of here. I hate this place. Where I live is like a dry hole where people go to die. I was just unfortunate enough to be born here. I can think of a lot of times too. Uh, see how terrible my videos are? Anyway, I can think of a lot of times too throughout my life that I probably should have gotten out when I had the chance, but I really thought that things would be different at a point. And I didn't want to leave my family behind. A lot has happened since then. In all honesty, I probably should have left as soon as I got out of high school. 
I should have took off and I should have done my own thing. I should have went somewhere like Louisville and just tried to find murals and stuff to paint. And don't get me wrong, I love my kids. I wouldn't trade them for the world. But had I done something like that before I had children, maybe I could have been established in a city that is, you know, a little more expensive to live in and not be stuck in this hellhole. There's literally nothing here. I know I said in a video, um, I don't know if this will be posted before it or if it will be posted first, but I have a video where I said flat out, like, there's only a keystone. Yes, I'm just doing this by feeling. But there's only a keystone and a, uh, a center here if you want to make money, really. Oh, and there's a Patriot, which is like a sewing factory. It's all factory work except for center is a call center job. You got your Walmart, you know. I think this may be the consistency of it. This is definitely the consistency of it. We're going to taste test it and see if we can add a little more sugar. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. A little more sugar. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. This is terribly bad. Don't try this at home. I like to make sweets because everybody likes sweets. No matter who you are. And I am disgusting. Yes, I know. I lick my fingers over the with this. I was raised in Hillbilly Hill. I don't know what you people expect of me. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly the consistency I was going for. So you know what? Let's go ahead and let's put that in the pie. That didn't take long at all, did it? Actually, it still feels a little lumpy. Well, it's a more minutes. It's my turn. This town is like a place where if you don't get out, as soon as you're out of high school, you kind of stay stuck. I'm really hoping that's not the case for me. But at the same time, I don't know if I would leave Kentucky unless I could go somewhere like Louisiana. I think it would be really dope to like hunt gators and shit. I think that would probably be the coolest thing I could do in my life. I think this may only take one camp. We'll see how it goes. Come on, you fucker. These nails make it impossible to do goddamn anything. Seriously. Okay, blueberry pie. Here we are. I really enjoy Nick Otto Avocado, and he will probably never ever see my videos. But Nick Otto Avocado, if by any chance you ever see my videos, please come over so I can make you a pie. I don't care if anybody else doesn't like you. I like you, I like your personality for some reason. Even though you lie and you clickbait. <laughs> He's got a new video out that's like addressing all of my lies, and I watched some of it, and I didn't hear anything about the Orland thing, but. I don't even fucking care. Like, when I seen Orlin is not with us, I didn't automatically think he was dead. Because Nick fucking clickbaits everything. If you honest to God think anything Nick posts is not clickbait, you're kind of kidding yourself. At least on YouTube. I really enjoy his content, and I really enjoy uh, trailer, the videos he does with Trailer Trash Tammy. And yes, I know she's a character. We love her, dude. We just absolutely love her. I'd cook for her, too. Absolutely. Motherfucking lovely. Them's my kind of people. Trailer trailer park people. I don't even care. If anybody thinks they love me for it, I'm not embarrassed of it. I can do a lot of things y'all can't do, I don't think. I think. I know how to grow a lot of stuff. I know how to kill things. I know how to make food last me. I know a lot of things because it's fucking poor here and you have to learn to survive. Like when the coronavirus hit, I kept telling my friends, and I don't know if this is offensive or not, but if anybody was going to survive, it would be this fucking hillbillies. It absolutely would because we know how to fucking kill our own food. We know how to cure our own meats. I know how to goddamn make wine. I'd have all kinds of damn hooch and wine and whatever else you wanted. Pretty much the same thing, right? I can make tinctures or however the fuck you pronounce it. My friend Serena was the first one that even knew what that was whenever I went to talk to somebody about it, and I was calling it something completely different. It wasn't at all what the hell it's supposed to be called, 
and then she told me what the real word was. I'm sorry that this is such a long video. I am trying to do this in a way that you can see every step because I'm trying it myself. And I want you to know that if it's really like messy and horrible looking and a terrible pie, just like the worst pie in the world, that it's because I am attempting this for the very first time along with y'all. I swear I am. And I'm in my PJs and everything and y'all know it. I'm just, I wanna do this, I really do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this. Well, that didn't end up very good, did it? Let's redo that. See, look how terrible I am at this. I have never decorated a pie. I've made some damn good pies that taste real good, but I've never decorated a pie. I didn't really realize that that was their function until I saw my sister-in-law had made a post about a pie, and I was like, oh, wow. That looks like a pie from Tom and Jerry. I want to make one. I, I want to get to a point. I'm going to keep trying this, and this is my first one, and I know y'all are probably going to fucking rag on me in the comments. But this is my first one, and so you guys are going to be with me documenting me learning how to do this better. And they're all uneven, but I don't even give a shit. We're still going to try it. Let's, let's cut that one down a little bit so he doesn't look so fat. All right, nothing wrong with a fat pie. I agree. I love pie. Anyway, did y'all ever watch The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy and a Kid? Please let me know, or as a kid, please let me know in the comments if you did. Because there was a song on there, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe it was Evil Con Carne, I'm not sure which one it was. I'm pretty sure they were both made by the same people. But uh, there, there was an episode... And just so everyone knows, this is what I'm doing. I did this with a cake before, and it turned out good. I don't know if this is going to turn out good, but like I said, this is a, this is my very first attempt at this recipe. This was just something I was literally thinking of in bed. I was like, I could take that pie stuff, and I could put cream in it. I could make some cream out of this cream cheese, because I had a bunch of cream cheese left over for my brother's birthday party. And I was like, I can do that and make it into a pie that we can have and just dump it in here in little lumps then I'm going to press it down I think they call it folding fold it in yeah look at that look at the oh gee okay that's going to be a really creamy piece oh dear oh me oh my when I die uh, no, sorry. I don't know why they made me think of that. Anyway, <laughs> we are putting the cream cheese in the pie. And then we're going to put a top over top of it. Just like some really pretty little crisscrossy things if I can figure out how to do it. I should have consulted Pinterest. But this is something I'm just attempting for my own brain. Because I had these things on hand and I had a pie crust. I am going to also be making homemade pies if y'all like this one. I'm going to start to make a lot of homemade pies. Maybe I'll let y'all pick my outfits or whatever if that motivates you to actually get involved with my comments rather than just DMing me. I really get annoyed at DMs after a while and I really get annoyed at mansplaining because I'm sorry. Every every solution that you can give me to my problem, I've already... I have tried. I've tried. I either need someone to donate money or I need to make more money on my paintings. I need to make more money on my uh, on my paintings, on my plants, on my spells, and if by by getting you to click on my YouTube, it causes my YouTube videos to be more seen. And if they get more seen, there's a good chance that they will go to a bigger audience. So please, if you'll click the fucking link, if you'll just click it, and you'll go on there and watch, you'd actually be helping me out a lot more than DMing me trying to give me dad like advice. I know that that sounds fucking terrible. It sounds like an entitled female, maybe. I don't know, but I'm just to the point that I have never really had a male influence. If anything, my dad was a very bad influence. Maybe we'll get into that one day. I don't know if I specifically want to. But, uh, even if we don't, 
just listen to me. I've survived 26 years and I was doing very well before all the tragedy that hit hit and put me back. Sometimes in life people have things that they really can't control, like the fire, like my mother's death, like a lot of things that have happened to me in the past year, and actually two years now, my bad. And you have to put your regular life on hold. Those things happen and suddenly like everything is just a little messed up. And sometimes things happen that are so bad. I worked for my Tahoe. I worked for everything that I had. I was doing very well and I had a job. Um, even like my son having autism, I couldn't help that. I don't have any way to combat that other than just being a good mom and try my best to be there for him since he doesn't have anybody else to watch him. That's all I can do. My family comes before anything else. I mean, I don't understand how no one, I don't know, I guess these videos aren't up, so I can't, I can't blame you guys as much as anything, but the people on my Facebook who I know are not going to even take the time to watch and still going to take the time to, like, bug, that's, that's the part that, that bothers me, you know? I don't need your advice. What I need is for you to either, like, I mean, and I'm not telling you directly, like, give me donations. You know what? Like, don't, you don't have to give me donations. If you would, that's cool. But if you don't, it would be super cool if you could just do the free option and, like, share it. Or if you could, you know, go on my YouTube. Go on my YouTube and view some of my com content. Comment. Uh, fucking share it. Fucking post it to your thing. Like, just help me get noticed. Because if you could, then guess what? You're helping me and you're really not having to give me shit. You're doing something that's absolutely free that you're probably doing anyway. You're probably on YouTube, aren't you? Yeah, you're watching me, huh? Um, I'm also going to, like, probably clip this down and post it to my Facebook to where it'll automatically play. I don't really, I'm not asking for anything, man. And if you want to help me financially, you can donate like that. If you don't feel like you should just donate money for me doing nothing, you can buy a painting. I sell paintings. I sell plants. I sell spells. Some of my plants are so pretty. Like, if you got a wife that loves plants, she would love my Etsy. She would friggin' love my Etsy. I have fabric cactuses that I hand sew. And they are so neat and unique. And nobody's even taking the time to really look at any of them. They are very neat and unique. I've had all kinds of people buy cactuses. But I mean on this profile as far as the new profile. Y'all really should. You should go look at my stuff and then try to tell me that I'm trying to scam anybody out of anything. I put my heart and soul into like everything that I make. I really do. It has to be like perfect. It has to be unique. It has to be different. It has to be a lot of things in order for me to even accept it as a product that's mine. Um, well, except for like the purring potters, but I only did those because I really wanted some. I really, really wanted some of those. Um, but if you don't feel like donating, you can order something from me. If you don't have any money, you can share something for me. Y'all messaging me stuff like, come spend the night with me, da 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 it's, it's not gonna happen. It's just not. I'm happy where I am. I wouldn't do anything to put me and JD in jeopardy. I am very happy with what I have. I'm good. I don't I don't want to spend the night with anybody. I don't want to do anything like that. Um, but, I mean, I'm absolutely happy with y'all sharing my stuff. I'm happy with you commenting. If you really want to get to know me, like, a lot of y'all want to pitch the let's just be friends thing. And it's like, well, then a friend would probably support my, my stuff. Like, how my friend Serena came out here. To help with the fucking Buick the other day, which is still not really fixed. But she came out here to help. You know, y'all are miles and miles away. How can you help if you want to be my friend? You can follow my stuff. Support, share, tell people about me. Like, I have one particularly that I consider him a very good friend. His name is Patrick. At least I'm pretty sure that's his name. But anyway, he has a, uh, a, a YouTube channel for his band. And I know I can't fucking pronounce it. Maybe it's Ermeta or Meta, something like that. Um, and he shares my stuff. He's bought off of me. He even did a YouTube shout out for one of my spells. And if you watch it, it's actually interesting because stuff starts happening as he starts talking about my spell. But like, I, I totally consider that a friend. It definitely does. I don't know if because I'm in my PJs, my views are going to go down. 
a lot of times I feel like my views are just up because I am very made up in my videos. I didn't do half as much makeup as I usually do because I'm making a fucking pie. Let me tell y'all something real quick. Those people that are just like constantly like on you to send a picture, you women know who I'm talking about, those guys. Send me a picture of you right now. Send me a picture of you right now. You guys are so unrealistic in like expecting the women to look like their profile picture every single day. Y'all can see me. I had somebody tell me one time that I don't look how I look on my YouTube. Well, duh. Does everyone not make their profile picture look better? Pretty sure they do. Um, I'm still very cute whether I'm in my profile picture or not. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. And they kind of said it like as a backhanded compliment, but they continued to bug me for days and days and days and they didn't tip for any sort of conversation. Didn't bother to get on the YouTube. Man, I don't have anything for you. I, I just don't. Like, you have to make this somehow beneficial for me and not send shitty compliments. Um, however, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Men are wild, y'all. One of these days I'm going to make a video about just shit that men say. I still have a bunch of just screenshots piled up of shit that men have said to me. And I'm going to... I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video of that sometime very soon, probably tomorrow or maybe this weekend if it comes down to it. So here we have our pie. I interloped it. They're very like kind of off, but they still look pretty. We'll see what happens here. It's going in the stove, and when it's done, I will pull it back out and let y'all see it. And I might even make a video of me trying it because I really do feel like it's gonna be something of the gods. My makeup is smeared. I hope you guys really liked like this whole process and I'm sorry that I talked all the way through it and I'm probably not going to edit this down because there's just a lot that I said and I hope that like talking with you guys and sort of like showcasing my personality will entice you to come here more as opposed to trying to talk to me in the DMs. I don't know if I've made this uh, clear. It's not even so much of a money thing. As much as it is, I don't have the time, number one. And number two, if you could get to know me in the DMs, you wouldn't want to. I am so fucking socially awkward. I don't know what to say to you. I, I don't know what to say to you. Come here and watch some of this stuff so we have things to talk about. But I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all this pie when it's finished. We will be back. Okay, so here we are. We're back. We're getting our pie out. I put it on brule. I think I burned it a little bit. But I wanted it to be a little brown on the top. I will get better at this, guys, I promise. Oh, I did burn it, but it still looks relatively good to most things, I guess. I don't know. So there you have it. Here's the pie. I did burn it a little bit. But as you can see, it's got a nice little flaky crust here. And I will probably do a video of me eating it to end this with, too. But there's our end product. I'll tell you how it tastes. Okay, so now we are going to try this pie. As you can probably see it, it's still steaming. I don't know if my camera's picking that up or not. Um, the crust sort of fell off of it. But the good thing about sweets is usually if they look like shit, they taste pretty good. So I'm going to back up here so you can see me trying my first bite. Far too short for this tripod to be up so big. I want to be sure to get plenty of this cream cheese stuff. And some crust. The crust looks really good. It might look like shit, but God, it tastes good. It's that cream cheese and the crust and the, like, uber fucking sweetness and, like, I don't even know what you call that. It's like that taste that you get from fruits that's just, like, all over your mouth. But all of it together is amazing. I'm not going to sit here and eat this whole thing in front of y'all. Because I know my mukbang, I guess that's how you pronounce it, my mukbang videos did not do as well as I thought they would. If there is anybody that wants to watch me eat this pie, let me know I'll eat that pie. But there you have it. There's your recipe. Super simple. You can pick up all the stuff from Walmart just already pre-made. I'm going to teach you guys how to make it handmade. And then I'm going to try that and compare guarantee you it'll be better but I may have to do like strawberries or whatever like kind of sweet fruit I can grow or I may go pick them up from the store but I'd like to grow them 
I definitely don't want to put anything that's in a can. I want to make my own gooey stuff that goes around it. And you can in a crock pot. I don't care if anybody's telling you that you can't, you can. Ooh. It's very good. I hope you guys like the video and I hope you try the